Yeah, my research area is in geotechnical engineering, and basically I'm interested in the mechanical behavior of soils and rocks. You ought to know the mechanical behavior of the soils or rocks in order to design the structures safely. For example, if you design a foundation for uh, high-rising buildings, if you don't understand the soil behavior, then they may collapse. It started about five years ago when its president, Professor Xie, uh, moved from China University of Mining and Technology to Sichuan University to become its president because we had a, a good relationship with, uh, with CUMT, China University of Mining and Technology, when he was a president. We signed a good agreement for uh, MSc students and, and PhD students. So when he moved to Sichuan University, he would like to renew that sort of a, a partnership as well. So that's where we start to sign a MOU with a, a Sichuan University for them to send and select some of the best students to come here to do MSc stu uh, studies with us. In the technical engineering field, uh, researchers in the UK are more advanced in terms of fundamental research, and certainly that's the reputation we earn internationally. Um, but also in China, they are undergoing a, a rapid economic development. So there are a lot of new construction projects, there are a lot of problems uh, that need solving. So I think uh, it's uh, mutually beneficial for us to apply some of the research we have done to help solve some of the uh, practical problems. Some of the examples uh, we are dealing with as a geotechnical engineer is including earthquake engineering, tunneling, and dams, railways, uh, and so on. On the 12th of May 2008, there was a, a huge earthquake in Sichuan, which caused awful lot of damage, and a lot of people lost their life as a result of the fact that some of the buildings were not properly designed. So what we can do is to apply some of the research we, we have developed and conduct to help to uh, design some of the better buildings in Sichuan province to resist some of the earthquake loadings. So in that way we can minimize the damage in future earthquake events. Certainly the benefit that we can get is by working with our colleagues in China to develop uh, the ideas, to develop the joint project, so you can work through to uh, publish the, the papers together and also to apply our research to solve practical problems to basically enhance our uh, international impact of the research we are doing. So I think that's very, very important.